In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six colorful options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works when I click a mobile device come and then it will show you six options in different color combinations. So you can see here for each option, I have added the icon, the option number and the detailed text. And along with this, I've added one more slide where I've added one image here. For example, this is the meeting and then these are the like you can use it for the meeting agendas or some other purpose also. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you'd like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. If you're using the older version, then some features may not be available. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes. From the block arrows, I'm going to select the arrow pentagon, draw the arrow pentagon here and then shape outline make it no outline and make sure the height is one and then i'm going to fill the color with these colors here right for that right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to select gradient fill so here you need to add two stops only the first stop i'm going to select this one go to colors using the eyedropper i'm going to choose this color here and then the second one i'm going to choose this color all right so like this i'm going to make a total six uh, depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease it so hold the control shift key together and then just put it up one and then here also i'm going to put it here so three at the top and then i'm going to select this three hold the control shift key together and i'm going to add it here and then depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size you can see here i can make it more bigger i can make it somewhat smaller like this and then using the format painter i'm going to use uh, i mean eyedropper i'm going to choose these colors now here so you can see here i'm just going to select this color one by one then for this i'm going to choose the other color which is a lighter green and then here more darker green here and then likewise you just need to choose the colors one by one manually so let me just quickly do this part and then i'm going to select this one this will be here and then the second one will be for this and the last is a purple color so let me just select this one or any other color of your choice also you can fill it all right so done so now the next thing is i'm going to select this six shapes okay and press ctrl d to duplicate bring it aside go to format i can go and change the shape to this one you can see here the rectangle one it all becomes rectangle and then i'm going to reduce the size maybe a smaller one here and you can see here it's 0 0.36 so i'm going to select all this one and making it as 0 0.36 all right and then i'm going to select all these colors all right this one and press ctrl g to group it hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here you can reduce the size and then i'm going to keep this in the center here all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more shape which is looks like this is getting connected with this all right and i don't want this one maybe i can delete it or i can just keep it somewhere else outside of the slide size all right so now what we can do here is i'm just going to ungroup this let me just ungroup this and then i'm just going to add one shape which will go and align with this one or join with that one so let me just bring it somewhat closer then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle you need to draw the rectangle by covering this one you can see here this bottom part and this top part right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some light color and then using the right triangle i'm going to add and then uh i'm going to add the shape here and then i'm going to subtract it for that go to insert shapes select the right triangle you can see here the right triangle all right 
shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give some different color to uh, differentiate then go to rotate and i can make it flip vertical and then again i can make it flip horizontal you can see here we need to click two three times so this one is okay from here till here press ctrl d and this side it should be the other way around again i'm going to select this part again you can see a flip vertical and i'm going to put it here so how you have to do this one let me just zoom in see this part should go and connect till here align it properly and make sure that this is no outline also selected and this one also you need to properly align and then drag it down till this one all right so it looks something like this if i cut the shape it looks something like this so for my future use i'm going to select this press ctrl d and i'm going to keep it aside here then i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this one go to merge shape and subtract it and one more thing which you note is if you see here one line is appearing here that means i have not aligned the objects correctly so let me just undo this one and make sure that it is properly aligned so now let me just cut this and this go to format merge shapes subtract so you, you don't see any line here right so now i'm going to subtract this one merge shape subtract so you can see here like this i'm going to connect each one now i'm going to do one more time second one again second one as i said i'm going to put it here you can see here and this one should go till this orange point all right and then i'm going to cut that part so again go to format maybe you can give some different color to differentiate and then again using this i'm going to select and duplicate this one and this one i'm going to put it here till this one you can see here so this area i'm going to cut and again from the top i'm going to select this one press ctrl d bring it here all right and then we need to align it properly otherwise some lines will come there you have to make sure and then this one should be till here all right make sure that this is properly aligned now let's see this one i'm going to select this and this go to format merge shape subtract and this and merge shape subtract so you can see here my second also it's like this this is the first one and this is the second one so now comes the third fourth fifth sixth all those things we need to do it one by one so again i'm going to select now this one you need to do a little bit different so now you can see here i'm going to select here till this part all right so you always one on the top one you have to align with the very top here and then bottom one you have to align with this one should not be worried about this part okay so once this is done what i'm going to do now let me just align it i'm going to select this part press ctrl d and only very small part only i need to cut from here all right very small part and here press ctrl d this side also not that i need to cut maybe this one let me just zoom in and you have to just make sure that it is properly aligned otherwise it will have a problem you can see some lines also will be created okay so let me just align it and here also i need to align it properly then again i'm selecting this and this merge shape subtract so you can see there's some some gaps created here so i need to just move this a little bit up so that no gaps has to come here select this one and this also all right so you can see here this particular part now what we need to do is you can see here i need to cut this also so let me just correct this one yes so this is my three i have created the remaining three the similar way you need to uh, add the objects so you can see here i have added the remaining objects also now it's very easy for me i'm going to just select this one using the format painter i'm just going to copy these colors here so it looks kind of a 3d look all right so you can see here 
I'm just going to add one by one using the format painter and once this is done if you want to keep this one you can keep it or if you want uh, you can just group this one and increase the size something like this you can see here all right maybe the size is not uh, very much matching we need to just adjust it a little bit and then we can again merge with this all right so it looks something like this and then for this if you feel that you need to give some darker shade you can select this one go to the more colors increase the shade and click ok so you can see a more darker and if you want more you can increase this one for this also i'm just going to increase it go to more colors increase the shade click ok and if you want you can just make it like this and for green also i want more darker green all right so you can see here like this you can add one by one or if you want to keep as it is no problems also all right so let me just quickly do this for this also and then i'm going to do something for this all right it's done so i don't want this one i'm just going to delete this part i don't need and then if you want you can again arrange this one up select this one and you can reduce the size also press ctrl g to group it and you can reduce it something like this if you want and this one you can increase the size so you can see here whichever way you want you can do that one and then you can go to insert shapes you can select one rectangle draw one rectangle here covering the slide shape outline make it no outline and you can give some gray color here and send this to back and you can add one more uh, rectangle this side and maybe if you want you can give somewhat dark color no outline maybe more darker color send this to back so you can see here it gives you kind of a 3d again if you want you can give some gradient fill also for example here i want more darker color so i'm going to select this one and here i'm going to select some lighter color so this way also you can uh, add it so whichever way you feel comfortable you can do that one and once this is done you can add some white rectangles also here select the rectangle a little bit smaller than this you can see here a little bit smaller you can hold the alt key also shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it white all right and then send this to back all right press ctrl d add at the bottom here and later on we can bring this to or send this to back also so let me just do it quickly all right and then i'm just going to select these shapes and bring to front and then depending on your requirement you can adjust it all right so align it properly spend some time here okay so you can see your design is ready now only it's time to uh, add the options and if you want you can add some uh, mobile shape also for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle shape outline no outline shape fill you can give some dark color here press ctrl d to duplicate fill this with white reduce the size and put it here all right and if you want to give some shadow effect i can select the black one you can make it somewhat transparent go to the uh, effects go to the soft adjust and increase the size you can see here and then this one you can increase it and send this to back so you can give a shadow effect also here and then you can add the option number if you are if you want you can add some icons also so let me just add some icons go to insert icons uh, remember these icons are available only in the latest version of powerpoint and if you want you can just download my slide which i have provided a uh, few months back so total six i have added the icons here and maybe the height and width i'm going to make it as 0 0.7 and then one by one i'm just going to put the icons here you can see here 
like this and if you want you can just change the color to maybe white or let it be black and then go to insert text box i'm going to type option 01 left align make it white make it bold increase the size and this is one all right and then you can add detail text here add detail text here white font reduce the size and then both i'm going to select and using the alt Control shift key together you can just add the text so you can see here one by one you can just add the text and if it is going then outside you can just reduce it all right and if it is white is not visible you can make it a black one also all right so then this is one this is two this is three four five and six so this also i'll make it white black doesn't look good here all right so you can see here our design is ready and then if you want to add some icon uh, some text you can add it here so let me just add some text here go to insert text box i'm going to type your headline here make it center align make it black make it bold increase the size and put it exactly in the center all right so you can see here with this we have completed the design let me just remove the guides and then depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options or if you want you can just do some basic animation for example you can ungroup this first of all and then I want some uh, basic animation I'm going to the animation enable the animation pane I'm going to select this first I'm going to give uh, effect which is the stretch okay and stretch it should happen from left so it goes like this all right and then I want this one add animation more intense effects maybe I can select a uh, wipe okay I think this is group I need to remove ungroup it first then I'm going to add animation wipe effect and then it should start from left all right and then this should after previous and then this one will be again wipe from left that should also happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this all right so the same animation effect you can just add it for the rest of the options